Endless Joy James Olds's Brain Experiment In the middle of the last century, Canadian scientist James Olds conducted an interesting experiment. Laboratory rats were implanted with microscopic electrodes in the area of the brain responsible for wakefulness. The scientist tried to find out whether the rats would avoid the place they were exposed to the current. As expected, the experimental animals stopped wanting to enter the corner of the cage, where an unpleasant surprise awaited them every time. And only one rat for some reason returned to this cursed place receiving electric shocks again and again. James Olds first thought that there were masochists among rats. But, further dissection of the brain of this animal showed that the electrode was implanted with some deviation and thus stimulated another area, the so-called pleasure center. So, if you affect this brain part, can you make a rat do anything? The further experiment confirmed the scientist's assumption. An electrode implanted in this area of the brain doomed the rat to a pleasant death. Given uncontrolled access to the electrically conductive lever, the rat pressed it like crazy, up to 1000 times per hour, almost every 3.5 seconds, forgetting about food and sleep, paying no attention to either the pups or sexual partners. After several days of continuous high, the rat died of exhaustion. The question arises, is there such a happiness button in the human brain, which can be pressed to make any pessimist or poor person a happy person? It turns out there is. It is located in the area of the corpus callosum, where the bridge between the two hemispheres lies. And with electrical stimulation in this area, a person feels a sense of unearthly bliss. It would seem that there is a real opportunity to make all humanity happy. But let's think, what if a person, like a rat, does not have the strength to stop in time and not drown in the continuous flow of pleasure? During the study of the Human Pleasure Center, new exciting data were obtained. It turned out, for example, that this part of the brain is full of dopamine, a hormone that gives a person a feeling of euphoria and happiness. Along with other hormones responsible for mood, oxytocin, tyrosine, norepinephrine, melatonin, and others, the amount of dopamine in the pleasure center determines how happy we feel. And if it is not enough, a person seeks to increase it by any means. There are many ways. Career, love, delicious food, praying, lottery, sport, art, laughter, dancing, singing, money, alcohol. In short, any thought, event, or behavior that causes a hormonal surge. And everyone chooses their way of receiving a burst of dopamine. It turns out, a person does not have to drill a hole in the skull and implant a chip in the brain to feel happy. Want to find out how? Like this video and subscribe to this channel. More to come. Stay tuned.